Rob Kahn, here with Doyle. Thank you so much for doing the interview with us, brother. Um, one of my favorite guitarists, somebody I grew up with. Uh, just to start off, what helped influence like the guitar style that you do? Um, well, I'm no virtuoso, but I know so. So, uh, you just have to watch it. That's <laughs> the way I do it, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I, I love it, man. Um, as far as uh, the new Doyle album that's out, it's definitely the last, you know, the two Doyle albums you put out are definitely on the heavier side of things. There's more like of a metal element to them, and I really dig that. Um, what made you decide to like go that route with these last two albums? Anything in particular? Or? No, I didn't decide to go any which way with the writing of the music. I just write the music and now, so it's all vocal and all these um, It's just whatever I write that I like, it just suits that. Trying to do this or that. Yeah. No. I mean, like I said, man, I, I've been a, a big fan of a lot of what you do. Um, and I really like Alex. Like that's like one of my favorite parts of your new band. Oh, totally. And Absolutely. how did um? I know you probably talked to a few different people before maybe settling on him. But how did Alex come into play as far as being the guy for Doyle? Um, he was actually the first one to send me uh, audition. CD had like 20 Cancer Slug songs on it. Yeah. He sat down and I was the only one that I actually listened to the whole thing. Which sucked. And it was all the other ones, as soon as I heard the guy singing, it was in the garbage. Yeah. And, uh, was, I wrote about maybe 12 songs, just the music, you know, all arranged and recorded. All them up. And he ironically was walking to a dancing show in uh, Houston. He said, hey man, I've got a bunch of songs on the record. He said, I sent them a couple and immediately sent them back. And I think one of the first ones was like Mark and the Beast, and it was like exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And everything I sent them, he just sent it back, and it's great. Yeah. No, I, I agree, man. I, I never really listened to the Cancer Slugs much until yeah. you know I checked out your first disc, so and those guys are fucking awesome, man. So good, right? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Um, so. I know another thing too you have coming up is some acting. I know <laughs> Death Ward 13 is coming up, man. Um, what as far as, I guess, what is your character in the film and could you give us like a little like synopsis of what is to come out of that movie? Um, basically, they're going to pay me to kill people <laughs> and um, I don't have a script and we don't have a date set to do it and that's all I know. <laughs> On um, another topic of movie questions, I know you made a brief cameo in a Big Money Hustlers yes. a long time ago. Yeah. How was your experience with that, man? It was funny. Those guys were really funny. Uh, yeah, it was great. All of Williams was really great. Really fun. Yeah. Uh, are there any other act acting projects or anything that you can talk about right now that are in the works? No. Or Yeah. Just, that's it. Gotcha. Um, as far as, I drove out to Colorado, man, to check out the show last year. Uh, for you, how is the experience, like, getting back on stage, rocking out, you know, some of your older Misfit songs and stuff like that? Uh, very normal, you know, once you get up there, it's like your job, you just do what you do. And, yeah. You know, I had a good time with those two guys, because they're both really funny guys, and to get them both together is... Yeah, I have some good friends in Denver, and that plus other band, few bands on the lineup, but of course, was a no brainer to check that out. Yeah. Um, do you guys, as far as, do you have any like personal highlights or any like shows that you really enjoy like more than the other, as far as like Chicago versus Denver? Or? Um, I like Chicago better because Denver, my guitar was my amp was fucked up, and it didn't get fixed for the last three songs. Yeah. So I had the worst show in my life. Shit. <laughs> Nobody noticed but me. As far as um, any future shows, I know it's all speculation, but do you have any desire to do any future shows? I do. I hope to do a whole bunch. Oh, yeah, man. Um, as far as some of the stuff um, with the Doyle albums, like I said, they've been sort of heavier and they've been definitely like darker and really dig that direction you're going in with them. Um, what on this album did you try to like improve upon or do more of from the last album, if anything? Um, we just do what we do, you know. Uh, basically, Alex writes love songs and that's all he writes, so, uh, you know, we just do 
just I just write whatever whatever's comfortable for me to play and it's good. I write something too hard to play, I don't yeah. use it. You know, if I write something I don't like, I use it. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's just uh, we didn't try to do anything different. I mean, it just has a whole different vibe because it's a bunch of different songs, but uh, we have guests on it. Yeah. It makes a difference. Uh, we have uh, Randy Blythe, Lemon God, on Virtual Sacrifice, uh, Michael Amon, and Lisa White Bloods for a bunch of enemy on Kiss Me to Die. Yeah. We have a new drummer on it, Randy Pertzman. Yeah. So. No, I, and big fan of both of those men, Arch Enemy. I've yeah. seen him quite a few times, and Lamb of God. It's, Awesome. <laughs> it's That's awesome stuff. to see, you know, you be able to like rock with those guys. Yeah, just and let them do what they wanted, you know. Uh, got Randy in there while we were mixing and called him to do songs. And so I sent him three songs and he picked the one out that Alex wanted to do. And, cool. and he got in the studio and he's like, what do you want me to do? I said, I want you to do it. Fuck you. <laughs> so I'm going to sit over here and look at my phone. Just go for it. That's why you're here. Yeah. No, that's, I mean, like I said, most of what I've heard, it's, and that's one of the things is, you know, you can tell there's a, different, a bunch of different styles going into it, but it, it all sounds very organic and it flows together. And, you know, I, I like a lot of the songs on the album, that's part of my favorite thing about both of the albums that you put out under Doyle is cool. that aspect of it. Um, as far as, I know you guys are approaching like the halfway point of your tour, have you, um, has there been any like thing that's really stuck out or any like really awesome shows that you've had along the um, way so far? The, all the shows have been very receptive and uh, you know we just switched drummers because uh, Brandon Firstborn is touring with Horror right now. Mm -hmm. We had that previously booked so uh, we got this guy Murph, Wade Murph, uh, like two days before we uh, left. Yeah. You know, he just had a cram, 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 so we just Long, you know? Yeah, I hear you, man. Um, I know too. Another thing which um, I, I've heard, and out in Austin, is we have a, great, a bunch of options. But I know you do on the you have more of like a vegan lifestyle as far as things go with that. Um, what made I know a lot of people choose it for a different reason, and out in Austin, like I've had like a few places that are amazing out here. Oh, yeah. What uh, what made you choose that lifestyle, like? Um, everything, you know, uh, just, you know, health reasons, uh, murder reasons, you know, all, <laughs> yeah. you know, earth reasons. And have you got to, um, have anyone brought you any badass vegan food today to, besides those guys? Uh, no, not today. Well, if you go out downtown tonight, one of my friends works in an amazing vegan food truck and I'm sure it'll be closed. I can get you. <laughs> No, they stay open until like three in the morning. Wow. But yeah, that's weird. Yeah, downtown. But um, as far another thing too that I know you're sort of starting out with is Monster Man Records, right. and I know that's starting to get bigger, and you know you're starting to flesh that out a little bit more. What um, as far as artists and stuff, do you are you signing like certain brands of people, or are you just sort of slowly but surely building it up like what are, what are you really trying to like build up with monster man records well we joined uh forces with emp from you know uh, david Elvis and elves and from uh, megadeth megadeth yeah and uh we're signing smaller bands that you know need to push and getting them the distribution the promotion they need and... yeah do you have any like bands in particular um, that you can talk about that i've been doing this we signed the uh, element a440 I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what fucking day it is. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have your hand in multiple pots. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Um, another thing, too, as far as um, I know you're going to be touring a lot from now until the near future, you're going back to Europe very soon. Are there any um, first solo tour in Europe, right? Under yeah, Doyle? We did one, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Is, what, um, what spots in Europe are you really looking forward to go back to? And all of them. All of them, yeah. Do you have any like spots that stick out like personally like Japan. or Japan? Japan? Yeah. So you're doing Europe all the way to Asia, Japan? Uh, or? Well, I don't know yet, but uh, <laughs> we have eventually another, we have another U.S. leg booked uh, for I think uh, October. Yeah. And, uh, from there, I don't know. What we're doing. Rock on. 
So another question, which sort of a just oddball question, but um, as far as horror movies, man, if you had to name just like three horror movies off the top three. of your head that you love, or give me two, give me one. I give you one. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, 1933 King Kong. King Kong, yeah. Yes, with uh, Fay Ray and her delicate scent, Big Frame. Oh. Um, as far, another question too, which is sort of a multi-question, but answer as you will. Um, as far as songs go, what are some of the favorite songs you've like ever written or riffs you've ever written? Like if you they're, could they're name, all the like same. You, once you write them, they're all the same. Too. Yeah, they're all like, you know. Do you have anything you're like really proud of, or something where you're just like when you hear it, you're like proud of uh, these last two records more than anything else I've done. My favorite song is always the last word of the night. It's the night you take a shower. And I'm out of bed. <laughs> My Rock on, man. Well, um, I guess in along with the last song of the night this is pretty much my last question. So, you got a lot of stuff going on, up coming up with you. For you, man, besides playing in Doyle, are you going to be doing any other music projects? Do you have anything else in store besides the current tour on this record? Um. I hope so. I mean, um, I wrote a couple things for uh, Alyssa Whitecliffe's solo album. Uh, if she writes them, you know, her part. Yeah. So you did. If not, it's, you know, uh, that's about it, man. Yeah. Well, hell yeah, man. Thank you so much. All right, man. Thanks Love for what coming. you do. Keep doing it. Thank you. Much appreciated.